hey guys welcome back to my channel so i want to first off say i'm sorry i am like running a cold and i'm a little bit mucusy and nasty <laughs> but that's okay hopefully i can kick this cold booty before baby girl gets here and i look like crap i didn't do anything to my face so sorry but i wanted to show you guys what i'm taking to the hospital with me i feel like i've said i'm gonna film this video for like a month already and honestly i never sat down to film it till like now <laughs> and i am literally having her in just a few days so i figured i would show you guys because even though I'm getting induced, I could still naturally go into labor at any given time. So I want to make sure I have this for you guys before she's here. Also, you guys say some prayers for me. That way I'm not sick when she gets here. I would hate to be sick when she's born. That just would not be fun. But I'm going to go ahead and jump into it because I have quite a few things packed. And I want to show you guys everything and I can kind of go into detail of what I have. So first thing I'm taking to the hospital is... Of course, the boppy pillow. So I had this for Ethan and Amelia. I just got a new cover for it. And this is what I'm taking. It's all washed and clean. And honestly, you guys, love this. And I, I know some people don't like the boppy pillow for some reason. I have always really enjoyed my boppy pillow when I breastfeed and all of that. I do have a Dakotot and the Snuggle Me. But I'm not taking those to the hospital. I'm just afraid that they'll give me a hard time for taking those. But um, I'm taking the boppy to help with breastfeeding and all of that. I've liked it the first two times and I'm, I'm sure I'll like it now. Then everyone suggested I take a blanket with me. And I agree because the last two times I did not take a blanket with me. And hospital beds are just really uncomfortable. And... I don't know i don't think they have like nice chunky blankets there um i do like their heating blankets though those are really nice so i'm taking a blanket for eloise of course and it's just this minky blanket that i have for her then i have the same one for myself but like the adult version and it's this huge one so i'm taking both of these with me i did get asked in one of my cleaning videos where this blanket was from and I forgot to answer actually I didn't forget I didn't remember where I got it and I did find out today where I got it by the way this is how her print or her print this is how her blanket looks it is the softest blanket anyone could ever own I do want to add do want to add this word gifts to me by um family so I didn't purchase these with my own money they are pricey blankets so i did want to add that because you guys know i try to save money i don't spend crazy amounts of money on things these blankets are pricey they're not cheap by any means like i said they were gifts and i have the um uh the, the name of the the shop it's sue sweet minky designs i'm just gonna even here you guys can screenshot that if you want and um this is where they're from. I just wanted to put it out there that they were both gifted to me and Eloise by family. But um, I didn't buy them. But I love them so much. I've been sleeping with this one for like a month already. And it's actually Amelia's. <laughs> the gift was for Amelia. But she already has a minky blanket that she's attached to. So I've been using it and I really, really love it. Those are the two blankets I'm taking with me. Also, I am taking two pillows with me. I actually need to run to Target and pick those up today so I don't have them with me right now and yeah that's the only thing I have to pick up so I am taking two pillows with me because I'm kind of picky about pillows and I don't know I I'm, I want to take my own and I'm also gonna take one for my husband and he's also taking a blanket with him but I don't know which blanket he's taking I kind of let him pack his own things because he can be really really picky and I'm just not gonna deal with it so he can pack his own stuff which I think he already started packing. This is the bag I'm taking with me to the hospital. I recently just got this bag at Target for only $12. I had a completely different tote and I switched everything over to this one because you guys know I am into the leopard print right now. And for only 12 bucks, of course, I was gonna get this. But it's just this really pretty tote. It looks like this. I think they still have it in stores if you guys wanna go check that out. But originally it was like 40 bucks and I only got it for 12. So that's that. But I'm gonna show you guys what I packed in here. 
I tried to keep things pretty organized in here, but I don't care. So I'm going to just start pulling things out of here. The first thing I have in here is a cardigan. I get cold easily, and then I also get hot easily, so I don't know. But I did take a cardigan with me. I'm taking this cardigan that I got like a year or so ago from American Eagle. It's just like a knit, chunky cardigan. That's what I'm taking. So I have that. Obviously, when I leave to the hospital, I'm going to have like my Sherpa pullover sweater jacket thing. So that is also an option. But I haven't packed that because I'm actually going to wear that too to go to the hospital. Okay, so I'm just gonna pull out all of my things first. So, first thing is not cute, it's not fun. I am taking a ton of granny panties. These are just like the Hanes granny panties. I actually got them a little too big, but I mean, you know what, I'll take it because if you guys know, after you have a baby, it is not pretty down there and there's a lot going on. So you need to have underwear that is completely disposable to you like I don't care if I get these dirty and I have to throw them out so I just got these and they're from like I said Hanes and then I am taking two nursing bras with me I'm taking a black one and I'm taking a nude one I need to have some kind of support you guys I do not like to be like braless or anything like that and plus I am a leaker even though I know your milk doesn't come in until like three days later but I leak a lot when my milk does come in so I just want to have um, nursing bras with me at all times so I have two colors just in case I don't know um, and these are from Walmart I actually need to get more because these are the only two I own at the moment but they just look like this and you can clip them and woohoo you see the booby but um yeah these were super affordable they're actually pretty cheap and I tried them on they fit perfect so hopefully these will last for a bit then along with nursing bras I do have nursing tanks and these I did have already thankfully I was able to keep these and these this is from the Jillian and O'Malley brand from Target so I have this like nude one. Um, again, I will probably, I don't know if I'll do a complete braless with these. I don't know you guys, I'm weird when it comes to that. I just don't like my boobs hanging. And then I have just a plain black one as well. And I'm just taking both of these. I don't know if I'm gonna wear them coming home. I really don't know. I don't have like a, a plan. I just wanna have options with me. This is kind of my coming home outfit that I have planned. I just contradicted myself a little. But this is what I have. I have these leggings from Fabletic. And I love these because these are like super, super tight and thick. And they hold everything in place. It'll be nice for after I give birth. It'll hold my belly in place. After you have a baby, your belly does not automatically like go back to looking how it used to look you kind of have a pouch you have a lot of extra skin at least i do so i like to have really good quality thick leggings and these from fabletics are amazing so i'm just taking some plain black ones with me and then as a top i'm taking this floy oversized um thermal top to go with those leggings and i'll probably come home in that I don't know maybe and then I'll probably just wear the shoes that I go to the hospital in back home I'm not being like super I really don't want to overpack things and then as PJs I did get these from Target they're from the stars above brand I got this in an extra large just so it could be nice and oversized and I got this like maroon purple color and it is super super soft and it's lightweight which I like I know when I breastfed both of my kids I would get really hot um let me know in the comments if you guys would get hot too but I would get really really hot when I breastfed so I like that it's light and then it's super easy because I could just unbutton to feed her and yeah so I got this and then the matching pants to go with it and like I said this was from Target so those are the PJs I'm gonna be wearing um I'm not taking anything else because Honestly, I hope I get discharged pretty quick. 
I actually don't like staying in hospitals. I like going home, sleeping in my own bed and all of that. So, okay. And then I did, you guys suggested I get slippers and I did get some slippers. I got these slippers. Oh crap, hold on. I got these slippers and they're like the softest thing ever. Like I could probably use this as a pillow. But I, I did get these, and I got these at Target. I think they were only $14 or $15. The ones I wanted were on Amazon for like $23, which it's not bad for a pair of slippers. I think it's a pretty decent price. But, I mean, I got this for $15 or $14. So I thought this was a better deal. And then uh, a lot of you guys also suggested some, like, chunky socks. I got these. These do not have the grips on them, and I didn't realize that till after I bought them. So hopefully I'm not sliding back and forth. But if you are pregnant and you need to get some socks, I would suggest to get the ones with grips on them. But I just didn't realize it. These don't have them. And they came in a pack of two for $3 at Walmart. So super inexpensive. So I have two of those that I'm taking with me. This is not very attractive, but I'm going to show it anyways. I am taking these. Um, they're like diapers. <laughs> but they're these pads. I forgot the name. They're from... Target. I got them at Target, but I'm sure you can get them at like Walmart or any other store. But they just look like this. Now, I know the hospital provides you with pads, and they provide you with like huge pads. I love those. Love those for when um, I had my kids and I took as many as I could home. I would bring them home with me because they are pricey. I think a whole box of this was like $15 or something, and I have more. I'm taking three with me just because. This may be TMI, and I'm sorry if it's too nasty, but this is my third baby. I do get heavy periods. I do have heavy bleeding. I have had heavy bleeding with both of them. So I just want to be safe and have these that are like a little bit of a better quality. And um, I think they just hold more. So that's why I'm taking these, even though I do plan on taking full advantage of the ones at the hospital. I just want to have these for when we are driving back home or if we have to stop. I have options to put one of these on because with Amelia, anything, I had extremely heavy bleeding, really bad. So um, I just want to be safe and I did get some better quality ones. Then I have this toiletry bag. I do have a small makeup bag that I'm going to put in here, but I'm using it right now. But I do pack, I will pack that as soon as we have to go to the hospital. But it's like a small makeup bag. I don't know if I'm really going to do my makeup at the hospital or not. Trust me, when you're in labor, last thing you're thinking about is your makeup, at least for me. But I want to try to at least look decent and presentable uh, for the doctors. But yeah, this is my toiletry bag. And I'm just going to take things out and show you guys what I have in here. So... First thing I'm taking in here is just some nipple cream because when you breastfeed, that baby is going in on that nipple. So you need this so you're not dying. And then I do have some shampoo and conditioner. This is from Target. It's the Argan Oil and Moro Morocco, Morocco, Morocco shampoo and conditioner. I am taking some Dove soap. You know, in case I decide to take a shower, which I probably will. I have two things of hand sanitizer. I don't know why I packed two. I think I found this one last minute in one of my drawers. So I just put it in there. It's obviously part of the Halloween. But um, I have some of this. But then I have this hand sanitizer. I got this at Target. And I just want to have this on hand to, you know, greet my guests. Be like, hey, you know, put on some hand sanitizer before you touch my baby. And then... Um, my husband, I did pack him a deodorant for himself because he's a child and he'll forget to pack his own. And then I do have my little deodorant that I got. And you guys can find all of this at like Target. They have like an, like an entire travel size section for like everything. I do have some Crest mouthwash because you don't want stinky breath. I do have two toothbrushes, one for myself, one for my husband. So that's that. And then I do have, they came with toothpaste, but I think I could do without one and just share one with Sebastian. But two toothpaste. And then I have, you guys really suggested this in the comments. You guys suggested I get some chapstick. So I got this one that was on sale from Sunbum. 
but it's a tinted one and I don't know if I want it tinted but then I found these at Walmart they came in a pack of two and they're this normal equate the equate brand so I have these with me then I have fun stuff like cotton pads and q-tips with me I do have some makeup remover and I also have to pack my um, my face wash and moisturizer then I have this I found that I had this sample lying around and I just put it in there it's just a self-heating one minute mask it has natural charcoal and I thought maybe I would want to use this I don't know but that's all I'm packing I still like I guess I have to pack the makeup bag in there and also my face wash and moisturizer which I'm currently using so I'm not gonna pack it just yet so that's my toiletry bag and another thing I didn't pack in here was a towel I am taking my own towel because the ones at the hospital are super small they're not they don't feel nice on the skin so I'm taking my own but I actually have that washing in the wash right now so that's why I can't show it to you guys so next is what I feel is the fun part all of baby girl stuff here's everything I'm packing for her I did want to add everything here is washed and ready for her to wear so that is good I will admit I think I'm overpacking for her I just want to have outfit options for pictures and all of that so that's why I'm overpacking I have a small little onesie for her you guys this is like the smallest thing ever it's in a newborn so I have that I just have one then I have this sleeper for her it's from a loved baby it is like the smallest thing ever I, oh my gosh you guys I'm gonna have a baby this size so I don't know if I'm gonna bring her home in this or what the case may be but I have that and then this was the outfit I originally wanted to bring her own home in but I don't know if I'm if I will I honestly don't know what she's coming home in to be honest but it just says hello gorgeous and it's super tiny comes with these matching leggings and then a matching bow and this is from Gigi and Max it's a small Instagram shop and I think they had a discount code when I bought it taking this with me as well I know you guys are gonna be like you are so overpacking for her but honestly I want to have so I want to have options for <laughs> pictures next I have this PJ for her the sleeper and this is from Posh Peanut and it has ruffles on the booty how cute is this and this is super super light and soft so that's an option and then I did pack this bow to go with it it's from Little Poppy and Co that's where I get most of the girls bows so that's that okay I promise I'm almost finished but um I have this sleeper from Spearmint and it has little ruffles in the back how cute is it and then it comes with the matching bow so this is an option I do have some socks for her um just to have as an option and I'm pretty sure I'm gonna take her pictures in this this is also from Posh Peanut but you guys know her middle name is Rose and I thought obviously this is just fitting it is a swaddle blanket with roses on them and a matching headband this is what she'll wear when I take her announcement pictures and post her first pictures on Instagram and then I did get this sign from Hobby Lobby and I actually need to pack a Sharpie pen in here um, to fill it in but it looks like this and I'm probably going to put her in a bassinet with this and her wrapped up in this. So I think this is going to be the swaddle that I take her pictures in when I basically show her to you guys and to the entire world and I'm just so excited. <clears throat> and then I do have another swaddle but this is not really I mean it's for her obviously but it's mainly for me to cover up when guests come and visit honestly I'm not gonna have a lot of people visiting I don't like a lot of people visiting just family but um, when my dad or my brother visit me um, or any men visit like my mom's husband things like that I can put this on I'm all for free the boob but personally I just prefer to be covered up when they're guys in the room except my husband I don't care but um just want to have it as an option to kind of throw on me if we have guests I can still feel comfortable breastfeeding then I have this pacifier clip it has her name on it Eloise and then I do have two passies for her 
This one is from Ryan and Rose. And then this one is from Bibs USA. I'm just taking two with me, see which one she'll prefer. I personally like pacifiers and I give them to my kids when they're babies. These are all disinfected, sterilized, all of that. So they're ready for her to use and the clip to go with it. And then I do have some hand mittens for her. I just, I want to have it as an option. So guys, that is all I'm taking. I feel, now that I have everything kind of laid out, it seems like I'm packing a lot. But guys, babies need a lot. Mommy needs a lot. Postpartum is no joke. I do know the hospital provides me with a lot of things. Um, one of the things I'm not taking is diapers. I remember with both of my kids, they give you so many diapers. Um, I may pack two or three, just in case. But honestly, I, I don't think I'll need any. Yeah, that's all I'm packing. Let me know in the comments if there's something I'm missing. Oh, yeah, a robe. I was going to take a robe with me. And it's still on its way. It's been, like, super delayed. I don't have it with me yet. And honestly, I'm not holding my breath. I don't even know it's going to arrive on time before she's born. Hopefully, I get it in the next few days. If not, I'm going to be robeless. It's fine. I survived two other times without a robe. So yeah guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope this gave you guys some ideas. I do plan, fingers crossed, if I have time and if I can get the energy to do it, on filming a postpartum essential videos and what I actually used and what I didn't use. I do know I'm overpacking for her. I know I have a lot of outfit selections, but honestly, that's just what I prefer to do. I wanna have a variety. I wanna be able to look and pick and just have options for her. As for me, I feel like I'm packing just right. If anything, I feel like I'm underpacking a little. Well, you guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it was helpful to you guys. And I will see you guys in my next one. And maybe it'll be with a baby in my arms. I don't know. Or maybe filming a pregnancy, my last pregnancy update. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see which one goes up first. But I'll see you guys in my next one.